Yeah, right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It is episode number 66 of DTG, uh, returning today on the absolute thriller of the last episode. Of course, we made it through his Champions League final on the back of the 6 3 aggregate victory against Real Madrid, where, of course, we had that demolition job at the Bernabeu, one of the best performances of the save, I would say. Uh, today, returning to the final three Premier League games Leicester at home, Toffees away at Goodison, and the Saints at work as well, where right now we are uh, theoretically, let's be honest here, I'd say two wins away from the title due to that gold difference win we might even need just a one dependent on if Manchester City slip up or not they've got some tough games to come as well so yeah first game uh, Leicester away not really worried about what they're doing though all we know is if we win out the two of our final three then we will be Premier League champions for sure once again back to back in our pursuit at the Fab Five so first the final three it's the Foxes at home should be a banker let's get the first of two we need here on our pursuit of that Premier League title I still can't get over that first goal we scored in that last game, that absolutely blew my mind. Like, I, I I know I said that it was probably the luckiest goal I've ever scored in FIFA. I, I'm standing by that as well. Like, you know, I'm always the first to admit it. I get lucky goals from time to time. I can see unlucky goals from time to time. It's just, you know, life, let alone sport and gaming. But, like, that first goal, I don't think I've ever scored a luckier goal than that. I'm trying to rack my brains to think of another time where I scored a goal as fortunate, and I can't think of one. It was just ridiculous. Double deflection on its way past court. That's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. And what a kick that was as well. Ah, tough first half. This haven't really got going at all. It's one of those games. Theo bailing me out. Like sometimes I have games like this where I'm just not on it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know why. I'm just not really at it. You know. Happens from time to time, man. Like, sometimes you can be unintentionally passive. And this is definitely one of those games. Just not being on it at all. I think second half... I don't think I need to change anything tactically. I just need to be more bloody assertive, you know? Don't know why I'm so passive right now. I've got a better team. Instead, I'm just not really playing aggressive enough. Come on, 27 minutes. My build-ups have been so poor in this one. I need to start switching it more, you know? This this is much more like it. Oh! Better though, better. Some, sometimes I think you can be a little bit too direct, you know? Like, so, sometimes I think you can get, get too hung up on quick attacks, you know? Sometimes you just got to switch to play, right to left. Take your time, be a bit more patient. Everyone wants to play fast. Everyone wants to play on the counter. Everyone wants to get as many and as quick attacks as possible every now and then you just instead of forcing the issue just take your time and work the ball around the edge and eventually you'll be able to work the ball in and find some space eventually there's going to be a drop off in concentration as soon as that happens you will see it as soon as that happens that's when you'll find a free man inside the area right there just a fraction of a split second they leave my number 9 alone. You can't do that anywhere around 12 yards out. It's going to find the back of the net. It's a, it's, everyone wants to play fast. Everyone wants to get so many shots on goal, so many attacks. Of course, the name of the game of football is to score goals and win. But sometimes, if being too direct, if being too quick, if it's not working, lower that tempo down. Be patient. Be calm. Just wait for that slip up. Just wait for that break in concentration in the back line. And once you find that opening, that's when you thread the ball through. Don't force it. If your number nine's not open, if you're playing, if you're playing one man up top and your number nine's not open, don't force it to him. Just wait. Just wait. Eventually he will be. And when he is, when he is, that's what... Oh, off the post. <laughs> we're in perfect timing now. Off the woodwork. That should have been game. But now, we, now we're in the ascendancy. Now, now we've got it. Right, now the question is, can I do what I really struggle to do in FIFA? And that is shut teams out. Oh, great save there after a mini deflection. But I don't think there'll be enough time. All I've got to do at this point, game management, game... Oh, I was going to say, game management, just keep holding the ball. Straight away, I'll give it away and give one more chance. That's just silly. That's just stupid. <sighs> now, not being at my best in this game, I'll be honest here. So sign, of a, sign of a good team, I mentioned this before, sign of a good team is when you can win when you're not at your best. And that is what we are going to do here. But this has not been a great game. But this this will do it. This will do it. I, I, I got six black shirts coming back. I'll just dribble to the corner and see it. And I'll be one down 
and because of the goal difference between one to go as well. Not on my best by a long shot, but it is job done. So we'll process through the following game, see if they can match our result. If not, that is basically the fourth of the fab five we're going for in the bag. Right, here we go then. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. So again, it's the, the game now, which is the, the following day. And not this day here. So just one quick advance in the calendar and we shall see. If they haven't matched our result, it's basically done because of the goal different swing. And, oh, they got a point. They got a point. So it's... No, hang on, that's it. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking at the wrong team. <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong team. So it was, to be fair, no, to be fair, it was a point anyway. It was a point anyway. So that means that's eight with three. So it's... Basically done now. Yeah, one one more win and, and that is that done. And they play they are playing before us as well. So if they don't if they don't win again, then that'll do it. So we'll we'll sim through this. They're playing on it was like the eighth, I think the ninth actually. So if they don't match that result, it is in the bag. And no, they got themselves oh, was that a point? Or was that a Oh it's a point it's over. It's over, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. One down, one to go in the pursuit of the fab five. Tell you what, that was a heck of a poor finish from then. At one point, they could have gone like free clear. Instead, that's that's done. That's over. I did not expect that. That's the most anticlimactic finish we possibly could have had. That's terrible. That's actually kind of annoying. Like, I wanted it to be more of a, a dramatic, climactic ending. That's piss poor, let's be honest. <laughs> so frustrating. Do you know what? We'll play the final two games anyway. Uh, might as well. Competition for places, guess you could say that, but so we'll play, we'll play the final two anyway, and uh, this is our final away day, and then we'll end on the uh, on the final, just saying so. And that's so disappointing, man. I wanted a better running. Do you know what? Just gonna have a chat in the following game. Just gonna have a chat. You know, as you're running Fever 23, uh, I'm gonna do a video right before Fever 24. Just talking about plans for this upcoming year. Um, you know, I do want to try a couple of different things for the new upcoming. Can you, can you even call it if you were 24? Is that legal? <laughs> I don't even know if that's right anymore. EAFC24, whatever it's called. I do want to try a couple of different things. But I have to say, like, for this for this save, like, this is, this is my first ever CAC. And I've genuinely really, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, every year, like, I, I assess my content. I think, what did I do well this year? What didn't I do well? I'm going to be totally honest. Like, you know, in, in the video, which I will release during the week. Like, I, I will be honest. Like, I haven't done as well as I wanted to in if you were 23. Admittedly, the gameplay has been really poor at times. I'm not going to lie, and I haven't been able to counter that. But I, I have really enjoyed this CNC. So for next year, I've got this really cool idea for a customizable interactive CNC. And to let you guys behind the curtain, I don't know how much work it will take to get it done. But I've had this idea for a while, and I was just thinking if I was to do another DTG. Maybe change the team, maybe change the leagues, I don't know. Maybe do a Super League, I don't know. But if I was to do another CNC, what do you guys think about being in the save with me? Like, what do you guys, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about... I don't know why I keep on shooting from Ranger. What do, what do you guys think about me creating you guys in the CNC and having you in my team? I'm managing you, you know? I, I don't know, I've got, I've got a cool idea for that. Like, obviously it'll be for my Patreon subs, you know, to... To give you guys something special for those that are kind enough to donate to my channel. I, I always say this, I couldn't do this without your support externally on Patreon. Um, but what do, you, what do you guys think about that? Because I, 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 one of the reasons why I love this CNC is because all the players are generic regens and new gens. I was thinking, what about if you guys are Wisdom Ibrahim? What if you guys are Patrick Alley? What if you were in there? You can use your real name, a, a pseudonym. What, what do you guys think to that idea? I quite like it. I'd love the idea of getting you guys more involved in my content and having you guys with me on the journey. Like, I, I think that would be really, really cool, you know? I, I, it would be a lot of work to, to do, but I, I like the idea of it. Let me know. The other thing I'm thinking of doing as well is another CNC. Because uh, obviously this is a, uh, this is a C, A, C, but a C and C club and country. I'm thinking about doing another one of those um, with a, a really unique nation. I've got this cool idea for a, uh, for a, a unique nation I'd like to use. And, uh, and putting them in a different pyramid. I've done that a couple of times before with um, St. Johnston in Scotland in the English pyramid and LA Galaxy in America in England. I was, I've got this cool idea for a unique nation I'd quite like to try and putting them in the, uh, the English football pyramid as well and possibly some other teams in there too. So um, yeah, I, I kind of miss doing a C uh, CNC this year. Like I, I, don't, I don't really know why I never got round to it, but 
I just decided against it, and I, I kind of, I wouldn't say I, you know, regret it, but uh, I, I have kind of missed it. I've done one practically every single year for eight years, but this year, I just didn't do one for some reason. I can't even tell you why. It's not like fatigue or anything, I just I just didn't for some reason. Anyway, we are absolutely dominating here. Tune it up and that should have been free. Speaking of Patreon and, uh, and YouTube money, I do think I need to, to restart that very soon because, um, you know, I always say I'm very honest about this. I'm not doing very well right now, you know. Like I said, I've, I've, I've had to move. Um, just not really bringing in the bacon as much as I want to. Um, part of that is external factors I can't control. Part of that is me just not being good enough. Um, but I do think I could do with a little bit more support right now. I could do with a little bit more support, but I, I feel I feel guilty for asking for it. You know, you guys, I, I said this before, but like I've always always felt really guilty about asking for help. Do you, remember, do you remember recently I was doing a video and I was talking about how like I um, so I've got I've got like my my nose and uh, <laughs> I've got my nose, brilliant. Um, I've got like pain in in my nose and I I still haven't gone to the fucking doctor. <laughs> It's not it's not as bad as it used to be to be fair. Um, I think whatever it is is sort of clearing up a little bit to be fair I have been on a course of antibiotics recently. I think that has helped whatever it is I think I think it is probably vegetables and I think the antibiotics have helped but um, Yeah, um, I still I still feel guilty about that. I don't know what it is but like whether it's financial or medical or literally anything Throughout my entire life, I've always really struggled at asking for help. I don't know why that is. I've learned a lot about myself through therapy, but that is one thing that I've I've never really found the answer to. E even though I have every right to ask for help, as we all do, and we all need help from time to time, I don't know why I literally just find it such a difficult thing to do for asking for help. I'm struggling right now, really struggling. And you guys, a few years ago, I'm not exaggerating, saved my career. And I'm sure that you would be willing to help me out again, if not to the same extent, which is totally understandable. When you, I'm sat here thinking, I can't, I can't, I can't. don't want to do it. It's like, I don't know why I'm like this. I'd rather suffer in silence independently than reach out and say, Hi, guys, can you, can you please give me a hand? I'm sorry, but I really need it. <laughs> so annoying. I've got to get over this hurdle. To be fair, it's a good way of like um, rewarding you guys that do sub to me on Patreon. Like, there's two main kind of like tiers I have. I haven't updated them really since I began. I've got two main tiers, and um, one of which is of course to, to to DM me, get my DMs. I really should open that up to Instagram now. I've got an Instagram account. Um, I haven't posted a picture yet, but I do post story updates on there. If you don't follow me on Instagram, links below. Um, I should open that up to Instagram, Instagram DMs as well, for those who don't use X anymore, or Twitter. Um, and obviously there's the, um, the the special thanks at the end of every video I do, but uh, that's a, that's a real, oh, what a call. That's also a good way of like giving you guys a reward for su supporting me directly as well. You know, getting you guys in the saves, you know. Anyway, this has been unbelievable, what a game. <laughs> I've just come on the back of an absolutely tedious and minor escape and I've just come away here and just dominated. I should chat shit more often because I've been absolutely on it on this one. What else could I do for Patreon? Maybe like, I don't know, moderators? Like if I, if I do end up starting to stream on Twitch, maybe Twitch moderators maybe? I know a lot of people like that sort of thing. Um, sorry, can I just say, this, this is ridiculous now. I've absolutely dominated. This is just silly. Oh. What a goal that would have been to end on. Do you know what though? You can't really complain with a 5 0 scoreline. Right. Well, now it's, it, was, it was already official to be fair, but we'll do, we'll do the final one and, and that'll see it lifted as well. That was amazing. What a performance. Yep, super anticlimactic end, but we are going to play the final one because I want to see a title celebration. So I'll give Kimura the armband because I love him so much, man. The only star I'll have out there just because I want to see him lift it. We've had Kovacavic, we've had Pat. Uh, who else do we have lifting as well? Uh, Naylor, the OG as well. Uh, for this one, I want you to lift what will be our four of hopefully five trophies this season. So yeah, final game, nothing to play for, but I just, I just want to see a title celebration, basically. Let's get it done. Wow. Uh, okay, uh, didn't expect that. That's a, um, <laughs> that's a star I was expecting. Literally nothing to play for, so I'm just going to pass the ball around for the most part. But that is... Um, that's an odd start, let's just say that. I would dig it, why not? I would dig. The old knuckleball. 
can't see this fine in the back of net or even the target. But you never know. Well, it's on target. On target. It's kind of cool knowing that we've, we've paid homage to our... Uh, to our stars and our long servers as well, you know. What a ball. That is just filthy. Assist and a half, mate. You know I'm a sucker for a nice assist. That is just... When you talk about perfectly timed and perfectly weighted, that is... That, oh, that is beautiful, that. Look at that. That is perfect. Right into the path. Fair play. That was nice. Well, we are going to walk to a one-goal win. In an anticlimactic finale, but it's enough for me. None of the starters get injured or tired with a CL final at the end. Why have they got their hands on their heads? Wait, disappointed? Unbelievable. Are you not entertained? Even so, we'll have it buzzing and we shall end on that. Four down, one to go. It's something about ribbons on a trophy that I just absolutely love. It, it really has to do with uniqueness and uh, personalization. I mean, not all trophies, not all major trophies in, in football have them. I mean, some of the most iconic definitely don't. The World Cup, of course. <laughs> Imagine the World Cup with ribbons. It would just look stupid. Where would you even attach them? How would you even do that? Blue tack? <laughs> Sellotape? I mean, but there is something about ribbons on a trophy that I just, I just absolutely love, you know. It really adds to that season. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's it. That's it. It's done. It's done. It's four down. It's one to go. I dreamed of the Super 6. That was ended early, but like I said, when it was, you just have to shift your attention and move on. When your dreams end, you just got to make some new ones up, man. So go for the Fab Five. I will return in the season finale and the series finale with... That CL final against Barcelona. Guys, thank you so much for watching the episode. If you've enjoyed it, especially my nattering, then please do drop a like. You all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the final episode of DTG. I can't believe it's coming to end in the next one, but it will. And hopefully we can end on a high with the Fab Five in the cabinet. Have a great day, much love, and I'll see you for the finale very soon.